السلام عليكم ورحمة الله تعالى وبركاته. Today's lesson is a writing lesson and it's going to be the last lesson in unit 10. In this lesson I'm going to show you how you can write a comparison and contrast essay. First, let's see what do we mean by comparison and contrast essay. A comparison and contrast essay is a type of expository writing. What do we mean by expository writing? An expository is essay is a genre of writing which tends to illustrate, clarify, or explain something in a way that it becomes clear for readers. The purpose is to show the similarities and or differences between two things such as historical periods, people or phenomena, etc., etc. So, in other words, when we compare, we show the similarities, and when we contrast, we show the differences. In some compare and contrast essays, there is a focus on similarities and in other essays the focus is more on the differences and in others the similarities and differences are discussed evenly or equally which means that sometimes in some compare and contrast we speak more about similarities and less about differences and in others we speak more about differences and less about similarities and in other essays okay we speak s about similarities and differences in a way which is equal read the following examples and underline words and expressions of comparison So, you're going to find expressions and words that we use in order to show similarities. So, read the sentences. And do the exercise. After you do the exercise, compare your answers with the correction. This is the correction of the exercise. Computers can be used to communicate easily, for example, via email. Likewise, likewise. Second expression is both. We can use also just like and is similar to. So these are expressions that we have used here in these examples to show similarities. Now in the next exercise you're going to find words and expressions of contrast. What are the words or expressions that we use in order to show differences between two things or two ideas etc for example here in this in these examples we are making or showing the differences between life in urban society and life in rural society so read the examples carefully and find the expressions which I guess you know because you saw this in your uh, in the unit one 
linking words lesson. So now you compare your answers with the correction. So number one, we have used whereas. Number two, while, unlike, in comparison with, and in contrast. So these are the expressions that we used in order to make differences between the two lines. This is a list of words and phrases that are used to show similarities. Similarly, likewise, also, both and, just like, similar to, to be similar to, to be the same as. So you have a variety of expressions that you can use in order to show similarities. The same thing for differences. However, in contrast, in comparison, on the other hand, while, whereas, but, and unlike. Now let's do some uh, more practice. Now what you're going to do in the first task, you're going to use the expressions you learned to compare between a letter and an email. So you're going to use the expressions of similarities and differences in order to compare between a letter and email. Okay, what are the similarities between a letter and email? Yes, letter similarities. Letter is a means of communication, the same thing for email. Letter has some regulations, the same thing for email. And uh, a letter has a sender and a receiver, and an email has a sender and a, re a receiver. The differences are a letter is printed or handwritten, an email is typed on a computer, etc. A letter is a slow means of communication. An email is faster. A letter could always get lost, but an email is more reliable. So use the expressions of similarities and uh, differences to compare and contrast between a letter and email. In task number two, you're going to use the following word to fill in the blanks. These words are used to show similarities. And in this paragraph, we are talking about the, uh, the similarities between James and his wife. So, be careful, read carefully and do the task. Third task, you're going to use the following word to fill in the blanks. While, but, different, however, difference, differ. And here in this paragraph, we are speaking about the differences between two states, Arizona and Rhode Island. The last task, you're going to write an email. Your English pen pal is planning to spend his or her holiday in Morocco. He or she has been told that the most ideal places to visit are Marrakesh and Agadir. But he or she can't decide which city to stay in write an email telling him or her about some of the similarities and differences between the two cities. So use what you have learned 
in order to write the email and uh, when you finish the tasks provide me with your answers for me to correct okay now see you later I hope I hope you good luck والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله